there, Taurus friends. Welcome to your mid-October 2020 reading here on my channel, Healing Tea Talk. My name is Myra, and I'm so glad to be here with you guys. I hope that this reading finds you well here in the middle of October already, you guys. So um, I am recording this video on the 16th of October, which is the new moon in Libra energy. So that energy will linger for a minute. Our next full moon, guys, is in your sign on October 31st. So with that comes all kinds of things to release, let go, emotions coming up. Mercury is retrograde in Scorpio, which is a lot of times about people from our past coming back. Lessons we have to learn, all that kind of good stuff, guys. So um, I will not prolong this. We're going to go ahead and get into your mid-October reading. Wishing you peace, abundance, and blessings, guys. So I'm going to turn the camera around. So you can see the cards as they come out, Taurus friends. So we'll start with the Angel Answers deck and see what answers your angels have for you. For this mid-October, between now and the end of October, what miracles, blessings, answers do you have for my Taurus friends, please? All right, guys, so we have here, something is unlikely. So you could have an, get an unlikely yes. That could also be a thing because I see yes here too. So it could be, you know, an affirmation of some type where it's like, oh, God, I didn't think that it would be a yes, but it really did happen. The next card under here says you're ready. Okay. So you may be thinking you're not ready for something, Taurus, but you end up actually being ready. All right, let me get you a card from the Power of Surrender Oracle deck. All right, thank you, Holy Spirit, Archangel, Spirit Guides of the Highest, Most Holy, Divine Order, and Ancestors. Thank you. So we have here, Surrender Outdated Beliefs About Yourself. That card also came out for Aries. So you could be an Aries Taurus Cusper, but this says... Let go of limiting beliefs about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar in life, Taurus. And then you also have surrender to non-action. It says, now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you. All right, that'll be real specific guidance for someone. And then let's get you a Chakra Wisdom Oracle card. Do me a favor, friends. If this message or this video resonates, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Or if you just feel like being nice, <laughs> go ahead and hit the thumbs up button, friends. All right. And we have Impatience and Discovery. So I feel like you're learning a lot about yourself. Taurus friends, yeah, there's something that maybe you want to see happen, um, and I feel like, yeah, you're discovering a lot about yourself. I think you're you're understanding yourself a little bit better in some capacity. Um, maybe you're realizing that you are the one to do something. You could also be understanding that you could be a little bit impatient too, huh? All right, so we'll put these here, and then we'll do your spread at the bottom of the deck. Though is a miracle. So I feel like you are, you know, there could be an unlikely circumstance, friend, that something that maybe you didn't expect to work out that ends up working out for your greatest good, which is always wonderful, isn't it? All right, so let's do your tarot spread, Taurus friends, and see what's going on here for this mid-October reading. What is Taurus's overall and present energy? All right, guys. So you have here the Four of Wands, which is about commitment, happy events, right? Sometimes marriage. And the Queen of Pentacles, that's your energy. So it's being very, very abundant. Um, I feel like if you're in a relationship, you are in a very solid place. Um, this could be a desire. It could be something that you want. I do see the Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck, which is can be fearful 
energy or somebody feels like their hands are tied, like there's not much they can do in a situation. And, you know, maybe this is that surrender to non-action card. Maybe there's nothing for you to do. If this is regarding a relationship or your household, Tars, maybe it is for you to not do anything. All right, let's take a look at your challenge. What is the challenge for my Taurus friends? All right, we have the Seven of Wands. And we have the Hierophant here. So it feels like somebody could be blocking some type of spiritual guidance, mentorship. Um, that is your card, Taurus. That just feels like resistance. Either someone is resisting you. Um, within your household or family or you are resisting you are resistant usually the four of pentacles will come up i feel like if it was you being resistant to change so it could be just somebody resisting your beliefs they could be resisting your guidance or something like that um and again it could be someone in your household let's take a look at the it looks like the advice from spirit obviously is to not react um, this card could also be about letting go of outdated beliefs about yourself. The Hierophant um, can also be about your beliefs, your values, and stuff that you think. So this could be about blocking out limiting beliefs about yourself too, huh? All right, let's get advice from Spirit. Guys, we have here the Knight of Swords. And we also have here the Six of Pentacles. So you could decide to help someone or someone could decide to help you. Um, and then we have the King of Wands here, Aquarius, I mean, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. You guys could be receiving help from a fire sign or a fire sign could be helping you. But that could also be a creative project as well, Taurus. Um, but it is about give and take. Sometimes it's about money coming in unexpectedly. Um, but it does look like very helpful energy. Alrighty, and then let's take a look at your outcome. I do feel like this card is advising you to let someone come to you. For some of you, this could be this Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo person coming to help you or assist you. The lover's card here, Gemini and the hanging man. So this could be just, you know, give somebody time. Impatience, obviously, was here, right? So this could be how you're showing up, how your energy shows up, you know. Don't be impatient. Give it time. If it's somebody that you're interested in, it could be your significant other, boyfriend, girlfriend, or spouse. I just feel like give them a chance to miss you. Give them a chance to uh, ask for your advice, Taurus. Don't even offer it necessarily. Let them, if, if people are refusing your wisdom or advice, maybe it's because it was unsolicited, okay? So give them a chance to need you. Or want what you to hear what you have to say. All right. I'm just going to clarify a little bit of this. Can we clarify the overall energy? Yeah, the King of Wands came flying out again. Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Some of you are dealing with uh, an, a fire sign. And there's the full card. So this person, I feel like, is very... You know, fire signs are very, they can be impulsive and they act on their inspiration. So the energy of this person is just different than you, Taurus. They, they when they are inspired, they act. This could also be a person who feels like they could feel tied down in some way, shape or form and decide that they need some freedom, some liberty or something to that extent. What is the seven of wands? Yeah, they could just be resisting your advice. 
the seven of pentacles and the seven of wands again so yeah this is someone who is it's sort of like you just have to take the wait and see approach Taurus. you just have to they don't want to hear what you have to say the four of cups right that's when somebody resists they're not interested in what you're offering advice help whatever it is they need to sort of do this on their own okay mm-hmm Yep, that's what it looks like to me, guys. Yeah, so there's nothing for you to do, Taurus. That's what's very, very clear here. There's nothing for you to do. Get used to non-action. Let them just come back to you. And, you know, then you can offer whatever words of wisdom, pearls, and jewels of wisdom and experience at that time, guys. So it's just a waiting game. Here, it does look like something is definitely meant to be. You got two major arcanas here, the lovers and the hanging man. So right now, it's just a waiting game. All right? Find a place of peace, get in your zen energy, and it all comes back to you. All right, guys. Love you so much, Taurus. Happy mid-October. Blessings.